YouTube, I'm David Boucher and welcome to day 133 of my six month life transformation chronicle. It's uh, Sunday, May 13th here, which means that in America it's Mother's Day, so if uh, it's also the same thing for you, hope you're having a great time with your family. And uh, if it's not, because I know it happens at different times in other parts of the world, I hope you're having a, a great Sunday anyways. So I'll just jump right into it with what I wanted to talk about today. Um, you know, every week there's usually something that kind of uh, strikes me as interesting and I think, oh, this would be a good good topic to just talk about um, and how it affects my life. And so what I want to talk about today is hobbies. And so I read a very interesting article uh, in the New York Times about how no one really has, at least in this country anyway, hobbies. And in the strictest sense, hobby is just something you do for fun, uh, but more importantly, has no uh, poss possibility, no realistic possibility of monetary gain at the end, right? Because every day now, everyone talks about having uh, a side hustle, you know, or a, a gig or something like that. And so the article said, you know, well, if you crochet, certainly you should sell that on Etsy, right? Or if you like to bake, well, you should put your cakes on Instagram. And I've definitely done this before. Uh, I would say that in the period of my late 20s, everything was done to do my own thing, right? So I had my sort of formal projects, which were obviously going to work and going to school part time. But everything I took up beyond that uh, was with this goal of maybe I would make money off it. But here's what I've realized since then. Uh, the first is that, and this is probably a topic for another video, those who do make make it, right, um, there's all, always a lot of luck, and I've talked about this before. And second, uh, they've just been doing it for longer. Uh, people who get good at this or who make money doing things that aren't traditional, like the corporate jobs, uh, they were lucky that they were lucky enough to find their lane early on and then make some money off it. And so for me to try and start something and get as good at it um, as them is, is probably not going to happen. And so that was one thing. Uh, the second thing though, um, is that, well, there, I mean, there is a second thing that was, that was the crux of the article. And for me, that's really what stopped me is that I had to make money off of this. But what I realized since I started, this new endeavor is that I was trying to run away from something, but because now I'm in a position where I'm happy with what I do, there's no need to constantly try and find a side hustle. I just, I go to work, I do my best, and then my time afterwards is my time to myself. And so you'll hear me talk about playing guitar. That's something I've wanted to do forever. And finally last year uh, in February, I said, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna start because one day it's gonna be too late. And obviously I have no, there's almost, we call it zero chance that I'm ever gonna become a musician, right? But I enjoy playing and because I can just play every day for myself, my goal is just to, to be a good guitar player. Uh, there's no pressure, there's no desire to, to go at it, there's no worry that if I don't finish a certain song in a certain amount of time, there's gonna be a penalty. I just do it for fun and actually that's what's made me better because it, allows me to explore different things. I can jump from one thing to another. There's no milestones to reach, nothing like that. And so it's, reading this article made me realize that, yeah, I mean, in America, at least, hobbies are a dying thing. But I'm glad that I have one now because I think it makes me a more well-rounded well person. Uh, and it allows me to accept that I can do this for a lifetime. There's no, yeah, again, no deadlines, no milestones. This is a lifetime thing. And if I just settle into a routine, the idea is that 10, 20, 30 years from now, um, it just, it's just a part of me that makes me a better person rather than makes me money at a certain amount of time. So I uh, would just be curious to know what your thoughts are, you know, how, how you view hobbies, do you have non-productive, uh, non-profitable hobbies, we'll call it that, and do you feel like your attitude towards your, your work affects whether you have hobbies or not? So my, my case was, previously I wasn't happy, now I am, and so I can allow myself to have a hobby. So. Uh, yeah, just definitely, it got me thinking this week about how, yeah, just it got me thinking. It was a very interesting topic, and uh, and I just wanted to bring it up to you guys. So hopefully, uh, you know, as part of your weekend, you are exploring your hobbies if you have them. If not, why not think about picking one up? Anyways, uh, with that, I will leave you. Uh, next week is day 140, so we are rapidly closing in on the finish line for this. Uh, as you can tell, each of these videos I think I'm saying how happy I am, how much I'm doing that I wasn't doing before, so there's progress. And I think at the end of six months, I will have a lot more to tell you 
and I hope that that's still the case for you. But in the meantime, hope you have a great rest of the day, a great week, and I will uh, talk to you next Sunday. Thanks so much.